All right. Good morning. So I did make it through the wind and the rain to Laguna Hills. Got to spend some time with some friends I have there. It was nice. And now it is just about 7.30 in the morning. And I'm headed out to the next X to Redondo Beach. So it's about two hours from Laguna to Redondo Beach following uh, the PCH Route 1 up the coast. And so I'm heading up there to meet up with a buddy and then we're going to head out to uh, Morro Bay. How's it going? So last night we got into Morrow Bay and we did a little bit of sightseeing. We went, we drove over to the big rock that's in the bay and we kind of took a walk around, checked it out. It's a beautiful area. It's really nice. People stack rocks in the back of the big rock. So if you ever come around, check that out. And 
you got the ocean, you got the boats, you got sea otters just swimming in the water, laying on their back, eating oysters off their chest. So it's pretty cool. It's a nice little town, little shops, restaurants. So we went out, got a bite to eat, hit a couple little bars, had a few drinks before coming in for the night. So I stayed in a hotel last night due to lots of Route 1 being closed down due to the road being washed out from the recent rain, kind of changed our plans of where we're gonna go. So yesterday left Redondo Beach here, drove up the coast through Los Angeles, Malibu, all the way up past Santa Barbara, and then up the 101 to Morro Bay. Now the planted for today, we're not quite sure yet whether we're just going to go up a little bit, find a place to camp, or we may have to cut across due to the roads being washed out here. We may have to cut up the 101 to Monterey up north and then come back down to Big Sur. Uh, we probably won't get there until tomorrow, but today we're still kind of up in the air where we're going to go. We're just going to start riding, see what's available and see where we can stop for the night. So as of right now, I'm just getting packed up uh, with my bike. You can see I just take off the entire backside of my motorcycle. You can see all the tail lights and license plate and everything is still on there. I just pull the whole back end off and bring it into the hotel room. That way I don't have to unpack the bags. It's both convenient and inconvenient at the same time. It would be nicer to have a nice setup where you could just grab the bags and take them off the bike. But since I don't have a setup like that, this is the next best thing where I just undo the two bolts and pull the whole bag off and bring it inside. And I do have the short tail that I stuck back on the bike so that way while I'm in town, I can still ride around and use the motorcycle to get around. So it's convenient. So this morning we did get up here in Morro Bay, went out, got a coffee, got some breakfast, walked around, did a little bit of sightseeing as well, walked down to the ocean. Uh, it's just a beautiful, quiet morning, a little overcast, but really nice. It's a nice little town. Reservation point, but then I'm kind of curious if this is open or if they just let you buy a bottle. That That's you what I'm get. thinking. <laughs> No 
Okay, I am back with the helmet cam. I got it fixed. But now the current issue is this front camera here. I broke the clip on it. So I have it wedged in there, but I don't know how tight it is and if it's gonna hold. Uh, he's telling us turn, oh, I don't know where. Oh. I think he wants a photo. So this is the the setup on the Royal Enfield Continental. I tell you, you get up to 80 miles an hour, crosswinds, these bags on, this bike is just like whoo, on the highway. But other than that, it's been running great. Having a good time, enjoying it. And I mean, after a few hours, the knees get a little sore just from sitting in that crouched position. But other than that, not bad. Not bad at all. All right, let me see if I can find something to secure this camera up here. Okay. I didn't find anything to really secure it other than just wrapping the USB cable a little bit tighter around it. So hopefully if it does fall off, I'll be able to catch it in time before it flies away. But we're headed up towards, I think, Monterey right now. So we are right there. We headed up towards on a ray. hills, beautiful vineyards, and an absolutely gorgeous day today. Finally, the sun is out after being overcast the last few days. wineries around here. We are stopping to smell the roses. Someone dumped a deer carcass, it looks like, in a bucket.
is a nice view. How'd you like that? Yeah. How'd you like that? That was amazing. That was great, yeah, wasn't it? This baby is loaded up to the max. And he is way down there. It is a beautiful view and it was a great ride. Man, was that a cool ride. We have about 36 more miles to go to get to Monterey. Thank you. 